Uh, I don't think I know. Actually, most of the tokens are issued on Ethereum blockchain, and that's for reason because I, I do think that Ethereum is still the best uh, platform for tokenization. Hello, my name is Yaro. I am blockchain uh, specialist, uh, smart contract developer, and co-founder of company Blockviz. Today, I would like to talk about different token standard, and actually, I would like to explain what is ERC-777 token standard, why it's better than ERC-20 and why we are recommending for our clients to, to move toward this new advanced token standard. What is a standard? Standard is the actual description of naming of function and parameters. These days a lot of new tokens are entering the market and we really need a standard way of having them. For example, in your wallet. You would like to see all your 10 tokens, not to have 10 wallets for each of them. So on Ethereum we have also standard for token, for example the most popular is ERC20. And it just describes a couple of standard functions, for example balances, so you can check balance of some account, you can transfer tokens or you can approve the, some amount of tokens to be used by another account. Actually, there is a one critical bug in the standard. That's a function approve. Just imagine situation when you, as a user, saying that I approve uh, some user Z to use 50 my tokens. And then you will decide that, oh, now I don't want to have uh, uh, him to disponate 50 tokens because that, for example, was some kind of subscription or something like that. You decided that let's change this approve and make uh, Z disponating only 10 of my tokens. But if Z will see on blockchain your transaction on mempool that you're changing that's from 50 to 10, what he could do? He could try to uh, send immediately transaction to blockchain to be in the same block as your transaction. He can do that easily just by paying more gas than you paid because he can see notification just in a second, then send transaction automatically because that will be bought, which is just uh, uh, looking on that things and will just pay uh, gas to be in the first block uh, possible. And if you will be both on the same block, it's possible that he will spend first 50 tokens and will get zero. And then you will say, and now he can use 10 tokens. So he will actually update this zero to 10. And then in next block, he can use your 10 tokens as well. So that's your C20 token standard. It has just a couple of simple features. First feature is to see balances and to store them on blockchain. Allow people to transfer those tokens from one uh, address to another, just to change those balances and approve somebody to use X amount of tokens. And you would say, what's wrong with this standard? It's everything what we need um, and but the problem is that people accidentally sometimes starting to send tokens not to the addresses which is controlled by users but to addresses which are smart contracts another they could even send one token to the smart contract of another token and the problem is that uh, smart contract don't have private keys. So if there is no full function to resend those tokens from that smart contract, those tokens gone for all the time. You can say that it's impossible to use those tokens anymore. We have calculations that there are lost tokens for tens of millions of dollars already. There is a one Ethereum developer which, who is actually also an Ethereum Classic developer who proposed additional token standard ERC 
223. And it's also quite popular token standard, uh, which has all the features of ERC20, all of them, but additionally, it provides a couple of additional features. Actually, ERC223, in the first uh, look, it's a great proposal because it's solving both two problems with one shot because they are notifying smart contract that tokens were sent. So they are solving the problem of losing tokens because if smart contract is not ready, it means the transaction will be rejected. And if smart contract is ready, that means that you already notified smart contract and you don't need to send two transactions just to get service from smart contract. It's a new standard and mo most of uh, exchanges are already implemented ERC20. And their smart contracts don't have ERC223 receiver functions. That means that it would be impossible to send to that exchange 223 token. And they are not happy to upgrade because that's a lot of work. Developers would need to create additional function and actually not just create additional function but update functions for current users and um, update a, a lot of software on their side. Maybe accidentally during a couple of years they will all implement needed functions. But uh, for now it's not possible, so exchanges are not super happy uh, of accepting 223 tokens. Some are, some not. And uh, you as an ACO, which is issuing your tokens and would like to uh, be on some exchanges, will be not able to do that. Also, the even bigger problem is with decentralized exchanges. Because the decentralized exchange is not able to change their code anymore because that's usually smart contract some in uh, one or another way. And for them to update everything, it's even bigger pro procedure. Uh, so in this case, ERC223 could be not very good standard. Uh, actually, there is Ethereum uh, improvement proposal which says that maybe in the future, instead of having two types of accounts, which is simple user account and smart contract, let's have all the accounts which are smart contracts. Just some will be default smart contracts and another will be with your uh, code. So if this will happen, all your C223 tokens will be unmovable, at least on shards, because maybe my net will be not touched, but on shards I'm almost sure that they will do that. And shards are helping to scale Ethereum thousands of times. So 777 uh, is interesting because they are not uh, expanding ERC20, not adding new features. They decided to create totally new standard they are notifying sender and receiver of tokens, but they are not just notifying the address to which you are sending. But first, they are asking from registry, which is ERC-820 uh, standard. And in that registry, they are asking, okay, who I should notify that you are receiving tokens? So your normal accounts for sure will not have the needed function. But with this approach, you just will add to the registry your address and will say that if somebody is sending token to my this address, simple smart contract, please notify this advanced smart contract which is able to get notification. Another thing which uh, uh, ERC-77 added was operators. So instead of adding just uh, a, a proof function in ERC 77 we have operators and uh, e especially in blockchain when you can have hundreds of accounts so if you really would like to approve only X amount of tokens you could just send like uh, make an operator for some special uh, account if you really want to to, to allow smart contract or uh, that service use only X amount of your uh, money. But usually you just say, you can get subscription from me. I can read your code, you can, uh, you can do subscriptions. And it's really nice because when you have zero tokens and now you have to top up your balance, in year C20, what you would have to do? First, you would have to send tokens to your account. Second, 
you would have to approve for more tokens for that uh, software as a service. Again, two transactions. In ERC-77, you just have to top up your balance and uh, subscription will, will, will continue to work. And I do believe that actually operators each much better uh, abstraction than uh, approval uh, abstraction of ERC-20. The main difference of 777 is that together with 777 you can have pure ERC-20. So you're not touching any functionality of transfer. It will work exactly as a standard ERC-20. Usually exchanges are not happy, uh, are afraid about ERC-777 because they don't have implementations of it. But if you will combine two tokens in one, your advanced exchanges will be happy and, and exchanges uh, with the legacy code, some decentralized exchanges, which is really hard to upgrade, will also happy. Actually, you could implement 2 to 3 in decentralized exchange. But then you, you would need to create a special exchange which is accepting only 2 to 3, for example. But if you have double token, which is 20 plus 777, that means that you can use it for one and for another exchanges at the same time. With the ERC-223 that would be impossible because they are changing how standard transfer function act, uh, acts. For Orca it's really important to work with external partners, with smart contracts and just external applications. And we do believe that ERC-777 works for that much better. But to, to have uh, backward compatibility with all the wallets and all the exchanges and all type of uh, applications, we will add ERC-20 to the same smart contracts as well. So that one address, one balance, two standard.